Everyone needs a little bit of comfort sometimes, but you know what? It's not always easy to pinpoint exactly what kind of comfort food you want. Now, I'm half Thai, half Australian, and my tastes vary from like Western to Asian, Western to Asian. So I thought, let's combine one of the greatest French comfort foods with one of the greatest Asian comfort foods. I give you French onion ramen noodle soup. So actually, combining these two world's greatest comfort foods isn't really that crazy. When you think about it, French onion soup is all about like developing that really great, intense, savory flavor. And I mean, ramen is pretty much the same thing. Add the cheesy, add the croutons, and well, why wouldn't you? Okay, let's make it. Let's start with the croutons first of all. You wanna to mix together some melted unsalted butter, extra virgin olive oil, and a little dash of Dijon mustard. A little bit of salt, whisk until well combined. Now this is pretty much the best coating for croutons. You also need a day old baguette. A little bit stale here is good, makes it kind of crunchier. Slice and then kind of rip into it. You really want some torn edges here so they get all crispy and craggly, so don't be like too fine dining about it. Add your baguette pieces into your butter mixture and then give that a big mix until everything is beautifully coated. Now add your cheese. I'm using a really nice aged Gruyere because I feel like that's more kind of traditional French onion vibes, but you could use Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese, Gouda cheese. Oh my goodness, so many cheeses. Mix again and then everything goes out onto a tray lined with baking paper and cook that in a 180 Celsius oven around about 10 minutes. Smell of melted cheese, toasted bread. Now before we're done here, I just want a little bit of salt and it's really important to break up those croutons now while the cheese is still warm. Oh, hear the sound of that crunchy, crunchy toast. Put these away until later on. Now we get to the really crucial part of this recipe, the onions. And yes, you do need to slice them all and no, there is no hack for slicing onions and not crying. Sorry. Whew. Oh, no. Yes! <laughs> Melt some butter and some oil in a pan, and when that butter is foaming, add in your onions. A little pinch of salt is gonna help that onion sweeten up. Once your onions are gently sizzling here, now you can turn the heat down medium-low and cook these onions for around about like 45 minutes. I want you to come back and stir them every 10 minutes or so though, until they're beautifully sweet and jammy. But it doesn't stop there. We have some secret ingredients here we need to add. I have here Shaoxing wine and Chen Kiang vinegar. Add those into your onions with a little bit of soy sauce. I do need some extra spices here though. I've got cinnamon stick, bay leaves, and star anise. So at this point, you should be looking at something like this. From here, we need to turn these sticky onions into ramen soup. Pour in some beef stock, stir that around, and then just let that simmer for a few minutes while you cook your noodles. Add your instant noodles into your boiling water. When the noodles are cooked, take them, drain them, pop them into a bowl, ladle over your French onion soup, cheesy croutons, more cheese, and then under a hot grill until that cheese is golden and bubbling. Now sprinkle over your chives, and then get straight in here, because that cheese will be gooey. It's cheesy, it's so savory and salty and intense. And then you've got these really great croutons that are like soaking up all the soup as well. It's the combination you never knew that you needed. It literally like, it's like they were made to be together. 